Oh, Lord, Lord, have mercy. What a day. Today drained me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, and <laughs> welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be doing our by 2022 and just reflecting on what this year has uh, taught us, brought us, our highs, our lows. What's There's that thing that the Kardashians used to say? Like one of the one things I used to like, the... Oh, the peaks and something. Um, pits, is it? Nah, peak and hair. Pits doesn't feel right. Peaks and remember. something else, but basically highs and lows. Why yeah. does this shirt smell like that? I literally just watched an episode where they did it. It was like Courtney and Travis. Oh, we're speaking of them. So Kim had tweeted, um, I think she said something like, what do you want to see from us next season? And everyone was literally like, no more Courtney and Travis. Is it a lot of them? Yeah. Because I agree, like don't get me wrong, it's so lovely to see how in love they are. Like it's yeah. amazing that they found each other too much but it's just awkward to watch like it's right. borderline a porno when they're on i mean mind you and yeah it's just it's too i like the, oh i just i can't stand it i can't stand it i really can't but yeah i'm with all the people who are like no more caught your travis it's just too I much i mean fun. yeah ease up on the people then yeah it's just not we get the place. It. you love each other it's not the time and the place do you but in your own time yeah you want to be together all the time always yeah but, so anyways, um, do you want to start with a high of the year? A high for this year. If you could pick one. My number one pick? high or is this just a high? Do you number one? Ooh. What would mine be? I don't even know. My number one high for the year. Honestly, Actually, I know. Yeah? Um, you go first then. I would say getting the YouTube partnership because obviously that was a big one yeah that was that's that was what we've been working hard towards stressful. yeah and it was like the most rewarding thing because obviously like I don't know if a lot of people know this but in order to film this content one of us has to travel overseas mm -hmm. it's not just a quick skirt skirt to your house yeah, it's not a it's little a jump plane. on the train it's literally plane ticket Mm. weeks of booking and planning um, and yeah. someone has to leave their country <laughs> <laughs> literally <laughs> it sounds dramatic but it's not and we film and we schedule and we have to think yeah. of content and you know when you think about it like that you're also incorporating like if we're traveling and we're sick or we get like tired or jet lag like Babes, yeah. no time, mm -hmm. no time. Like literally this trip, I've been here three days. I landed on Monday. <laughs> and it was all systems go. And it was drop the bag off, you good? Yeah, straight to Keilani. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't have it any other way because it was great. But it's one of those, it's like, I can't, I don't wanna say I can't remember. It's bec becoming a distant memory of what it was like yeah. to just travel without any of that. Mm. Am I complaining? Absolutely not. But it's just something that I'm yeah. aware of. I know. I thought the same thing this trip as well. Mm. Because we have to do months of planning. I mean, we're probably going to do a more of a like how to start a YouTube channel. I know there's like hundreds of videos out there, but there's not one for like how to start a YouTube channel overseas. Yeah, internationally. <laughs> internationally. So yeah, we have a lot of tips. So in case anyone is interested to know how we do it, we can go into detail. But yeah, I have a whole spreadsheet. My spreadsheets have spreadsheets. Right. So, um, and yeah, it's just my brain is nonstop planning yeah. to make sure we get all our content done. We're going out in like 20 minutes or so. And uh, we're obviously getting a quick video in because can't stop, won't stop. No. The thing is the aim is to 
film so that we can actually enjoy the rest of it. Yeah. And not have to pick up the camera, which Mm. we'll probably still do bits and pieces like for Instagram and TikTok, but like that's on our own time. Mm -hmm. But it's, um, let me think of a high. Oh yeah. Honestly, I think my high would be spending Christmas at home. Yeah, that's, that's something well. I have wanted to check, check off my bucket list yeah. for. Christmas and New Year's. And you're here for a whole month. No. So that's like, it's great because we obviously get a lot more time to film stuff, but we also get time to chill. But it's like, we just have all of the hurdles because like, if for you to get the time of work, obviously it's a whole different story. I'm like, I've got some time off work, but then I'm also working. And then yeah. it's like the filming, the editing, the doing the shit. And then obviously because you're back for Christmas, there's so much to do. So much to do. And it just seems like there's not enough hours in the day. Yeah. But um, I mean, I feel like we're doing okay. So I far. mean, for the third day, fuck yeah, we're doing yeah. okay. I think it's just a matter of like, for me, it's, something I've always I like Christmas in London is magical just like they say oh, Christmas yeah. in New York is magical yeah. it is but it's different when it's your home mm-hmm. and to like spend time with like family and like friends and everything like that and just like go and see the Christmas light that I used to just see as a child and always appreciate mm-hmm. them but I feel like I took them for granted because they were always there so I'm like, yeah. oh, gonna go see the Christmas lights so now it's like I get to take it in and really absorb it and just eat the good food. I think Christmas dinner is going to be... Oh, it's going to be epic. Like, I, the way I need to map out my meals because yeah. Christmas dinner needs to be it. Yeah. It needs to 100%. be it. That's definitely probably my number one. What would you say my number two is? Um, my number two high would be never missing an upload. Mm. Like there Let's was give times, ourselves yeah, a round of applause for that because yeah. <laughs> that's not easy. Yeah, it was hard. Mm. There were a couple of instances where things were going downhill obviously like um we look when i went to go see you in miami slash new york um we had planned our content until you were due to come here and then it turned out to be a bit short but we managed to make it work and like we just really don't want to miss an upload just because We don't want to, I mean, we're not at the point where, you know, we'd have thousands and millions of people, like, where's the video, video? like, pestering us. Luckily, like, we don't have that pressure, but still, it's like, we don't want to flop, basically. So, not missing an upload has been amazing for over a year now. And the fact that we've had to, you know, do this flying back and forth shit. And, like, there's people that I watch on YouTube who miss uploads for days, for weeks. And, and like, like if sorry, they're a duo, so they're like, they don't have se- over- seas, you know, between them. They just have like a few miles and they will miss videos. So that's been definitely another high. What has been a low for you? Or actually you do your second high and then we'll go on to lows. I think a second high would probably be... Being that we've seen each other three times this year, there's a lot of memories that have been made, like a lot mm. of firsts that have been made. And the fact that we're so much older now that and we're still doing firsts that yeah. we can still hit those marks and be like, okay, this is this and this is gonna be the first time like the first time we saw a concert together was Chris Brown, who we've loved yeah. since the day the man released yeah. running. Literally. Um and then it's like then oh not only to do that but then to travel to new york to see him oh yeah and then travel together for the yeah, first time that was that was definitely like wow yeah that brings wow. me on to my 
a low actually kind of transitions into it because the low was missing our flight for a bagel. <laughs> oh, for a bagel. When you say it like that. We literally missed a whole flight for a bagel. That's disgusting. And then also, when you missed your flight, leaving London, when you were going home, um, and you missed your flight, that whole day was a palava. And then you know what I realised? We didn't talk about how because it was like in the height of COVID and you needed a COVID test and do you want me to mm. disclose this information? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> it's been a while. You looked been... nervous. No, because I was like, well, what are we talk about? Um, I, don't, do you... I get nervous when you bring things up I don't know in front of the camera and I'm like, we didn't talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, go for it. Yeah, so um, everything was going fine. We were there on time and we were a bit late. We were running a little bit behind, but then what really derailed everything was the fact that you needed a COVID test to get on your flight, which Wasn't you didn't there. do. So we found this lovely guy. He found us. Who, oh yeah, true, he found us. Who saved the day. Mm -hmm. It was dodgy as hell. I don't think we ever talked about that. No, as well it was dodgy as hell so he was like how did he even approach us so they were like you need to go we were trying to get the thing they're like you need to go and do a COVID test you need to go schedule a COVID test go yeah. over there oh COVID yeah test. so we went over to there to schedule a COVID test and they're like you have to do it online so I'm there scrambling online on my phone doing this and then he goes so he comes up to us and like do you need help and he was very soft he was very soft spoken yeah and he was like do you need help or something and I looked up real quick as like I ain't got time and I'm <laughs> doing things on the phone and you were like oh we need to do a COVID test and he was like and he was like when are you traveling like when da, 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 when are you traveling um and where are you going and something like that mm -hmm. and i was like i'm traveling today i'm supposed to my flights at this time i'm going back to miami and then he kind of was like okay wait one minute and i was like okay and then he came back and wasn't he like follow me he and literally took us to like the other end of the airport mm -hmm. and we were just following him like where are we going i just followed we were Blind such like, that was so dumb of us but you know when you're so desperate that it's like it can't get any worse no it was so we, we, we had no like... choice and we were like let's just hear him out and then literally took us so far away from like the covid testing area and then turns around and was basically like right so i can get you a test uh -huh. like the certificate or whatever so that you can get on your flight in like what an hour basically the same day because you were supposed to wait yeah i think two days for the results or whatever mm. we won't disclose his name so he can still keep his job <laughs> yeah but um or was it a he <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, so it, he, ba he basically was like um wait right here and then he was also looking around so i'm like he, he was like yeah sad. so we were facing him with our with the airport behind us and then he was facing us and then he was like looking around and i just remember being like yeah I? I and then um he was like give me some money to get it and i gave him the money and then we waited there and i was like yeah, it, was, I it felt been, like a job deal, basically. Right. I, was li I could have literally handed him money and then he could have just gone back to his break room and yeah. just cotched. Yeah, how would I? Left. How would I have said, hey, he's took my money, he's going to get me a COVID test. I'd be like, he doesn't do that, why would you do that? Yeah. So we just had to sit there and just pray. And then he came back with a piece of paper, which I actually still have that piece of paper back home. Really? Yeah, I'm never getting rid of it. <laughs> I paid good money for that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's basically, it was like the COVID clearance test, but I still couldn't travel because I had already missed my flight, but I had the, ke the test. So it was valid for 24 hours. So I think he gave it to me like 1.40, so it was valid until 1. So And the next day my flight was at like 10 or something. But that was a manic moment. And I had to call out of work for the next day and then yeah. go back and be like, hey, just kidding. Yeah. I'm back. But not really. And it was, it was yeah. It, it was, was funny. 
now it was funny in the but moment, then it wasn't in it the was moment, terrifying I was stressed. because like I've never missed a flight before, so I was like, I didn't know what happens, and you, I don't think you'd miss a flight. I've missed you. a flight, but I've been put on standby. So okay. I missed a flight to Ohio, and then I was put on standby for that, and then another flight two hours later. I've never had to leave that's the airport. That's fine, yeah, but I'm, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I've never to had to leave, leave the airport. airport. No, not that until is, that day. It's terrifying. Yeah, that wasn't fun. So yeah, that was stressful. Um, and then obviously New York, luckily New York, because we were traveling, um, like within America. Yeah. Within America. Like I remember when she went, because <laughs> when we missed the flight, like Ainge was waiting for the bagels. I had run to the gate, hoping that I could just stall her. Ainge would grab the bagels, run to the gate and then we'd get on the flight and we'd have our breakfast and we'd be cool. But as I was getting there, she was literally closing the door and I was like, no, 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 no. And she was like, go quickly. And she was about to close behind me. I was like, no, no. I was like, my friend's coming. She was like, where is she? I can't see her. I was like, I swear, she's literally just coming. She's like, give her five minutes. She was like, nope. Meanwhile, Either you get on this flight or you piss it off, basically. I'm on the phone and I'm yeah. trying to run. <laughs> You're running. And I'm like, my chest is getting like, turn, 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 turn. And I'm like, <laughs> And I remember thinking it was going to be a situation like London because London happened first, miss, the missing the flight then. Oh. So I was like, oh my God, we have to go back to yours, go back tomorrow. And we only had what, like two, three days? Two, three days so I was like, fuck, like, we're not going to have any time to like do anything. We're literally going to fly in and go to the concert and fly home. So I was like, oh my God, I was having heart palpitations and I was so anxious. And I remember I lost that footage as well. Like I was just such a mess. Um, I had tried to record a little bit of it, but I don't know what happened to it. That was all a blur. Um, so then, yeah, we were put on standby, luckily, and then we got a flight, what, like an hour or two later? And then everything was fine, but it was a fucking stress. It was stressful. Like, that's another low of mine, actually. We've had a lot of stressful moments. No. Like, just unnecessarily stressful. No, the fact that every time we have to plan... Yeah to come together to film it's a <sighs> palav like yeah. it's something's going wrong i can i'm like with the jobs that i've had i've had to like battle for time mm -hmm. like i'm bargaining with the devil and like it's just there's always something yeah always every trip there's something if it's not like something's been uneasy to organize or something it's like I fucking broke my rib. I had a cold. I fell off a bike. Yeah, you fell off a bike. I've like, fallen off a bike. I'm yes. Get, I'm getting sick now. It's like I was literally like about to cry earlier when you were out because I was like, I can't do this all the time. Like, there's so much to think about, so much to do, and then having to get battle with sickness um, but as I, well. I, I did buy some vitamin C. Thank you. Thingy, so yeah, I'm just I, I'm my tired of it. Getting itchy yeah and as i was out today i was like um yeah we're not doing a sore though yeah i mean we will push through it but of i would course, prefer not always. to be sick i know i just want a peaceful trip we will we need so, to get some uh, we need to get some sage and <laughs> just cleanse it because i am convinced what the someone has. has put some evil eye yeah, energy on us i don't know who mm. i don't know why but it's too coincidental there's always something. Every time we're just t back home and like separate and we're just doing, living our lives, none of us are sick, none of us breaks a Yeah, bed, I know. None of us falls off a bike. <laughs> yeah. Everything's calm. The, the second yeah. we are planning, nothing is booked, but we are planning. It's <laughs> anyway. I thought your screen had just died. I know, me too. For a second, I just saw green and I was like, that does not look right. Every time we plan something and we put, the, it's like, Whoa. Yeah. And I'm over it. I'm me over too. it and I need help. I asked my ancestors for help, so that's yeah. what they're going to do. Well, it's about to be a new year. Yeah. In a couple of days. And hopefully we'll have a couple of days. better luck. So I know. It's mad, it's the end of 2022, it's been a year. <sighs> it's been a year. I mean, the good thing is we're entering into a new part of like Drama Queens where we have made our partnership. 
Yeah. And this is a new level where we're seeing results, which is insane. Yeah. Which is insane. And it's, it's like, been hard. Oh. I'll tell you that much. I thought it would be a lot easier. I was like, it'll be calm. There'll never be any issues. No, I just figured it'd be like whenever we want to see each other how we did before mm. drama queens, it would just be easy like that. Yeah. But I mean, I genuinely couldn't imagine just being like, let's pack it in. <laughs> let's fuck this off. No. <laughs> No, I mean, I just can't imagine it. As hard as it's been, and as many hurdles as we've had to cross over, <coughs> I just, yeah. I'm just like, I'm just gonna have to keep pushing. Mm. Because at least we're seeing results. If we weren't seeing results, maybe I'd be a I'd bit be like, mm, let's take Christmas off. We don't need to film. Yeah, it would be easier. Yeah, but you know, we have when you have a not a dream when you have goals and you have. Um, achievements that you want to create before a certain time even after a certain time you don't let the hurdles stop you mm -hmm. and i think that we've both been we've both been each other's backbones so when absolutely. she's wobbly absolutely i've been like that's absolutely her. i always say like to you i've got a bomb i need you to defuse like it's because genuinely like i i drop bombs on your lap <laughs> The other day, I do. the other day, she um, <laughs> is before I came, and she. What did you ask me? You had you WhatsApp me something. I was like, I'm I'm having a gentle spiral. A gentle spiral, and then I was like, oh, she's saying gentle, but it's yeah, it's it's, it's, it's definitely medium to large spiral. Yeah. So then I quickly called her, and I was like, tell me, tell me whatever yeah. you're worried about. Speak it off. Like, let's just. Worst case scenario, this shit. Yeah. And then by the end of it, everything was fine. It was fine. So. I know. It's... And like the other day, last night actually, when I was just like, whenever I'm like stressed and I'm thinking about content and is everything gonna work and all of that stuff, I don't know why I always get my calendar up and I'm just picturing like, right, this is gonna happen this day, that's gonna happen this day. I am such a control freak. I like to be organized. And I was just sat there minding my business, just looking at my calendar. I was just staring at my calendar. And you were like, so you're like, like, what's happening? So I was up. on my phone <laughs> and then I just saw that she was very still. And then I thought, what's she doing? Because <laughs> this is supposed to be chill time. So I look over and I see she's like this on her, in her calendar. And, she's, and I said, oh shit. What's happening here? <laughs> because why are we looking at the calendar? And I was yeah. like, is everything okay? And you were like, huh? And I was like, why are we looking at the calendar? Are we are we yeah. going through something? Are we? <laughs> do you need to? Do we need to diffuse anything? And then oh god, you said it was okay, and I was like, okay, yeah. okay. If you say it's okay, I believe you. Yeah. But it's just when she stares at her calendar, I'm like. <laughs> I, I, it depends yeah. if it in certain moments like I know when you're staring at it if we're like talking about it and you're like okay we're yeah. gonna do this so then I never I never question it but if it's mm -hmm. like chill time or we're like okay yeah we'll do this and then she'll stop what she's doing grab her laptop open it and then her calendar's up I'm like something's about to be adjusted what's the problem <laughs> so it's just about kind of and I think that comes obviously I don't think I know that comes from years of us knowing each other being yeah being as close as we are mm -hmm. because I can like low-key <laughs> here this internal room yeah. okay? <laughs> so I'm like okay let me let yeah, me let 100%. me calm her down but oh. there's one thing that we just that's why with. this works definitely and this is why it will always work definitely. so yeah hopefully next year will be a lot smoother and there won't be any more bombs to diffuse. That's the aim. Yeah. But um, happy new year, guys, in advance. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for all the support. Everything. And we're so excited for the new year and what's to come. And I can't imagine where we're going to be this time 
next Tuesday. Smart. <sighs> if you could pick one thing to accomplish, drama queens related, what would it be? I have mine. I think I know what yours is, so I want to do something different. Um, Say it. Quick job. Hell yeah. yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, the, do you remember that TikTok I sent you where that guy is like quitting mm -hmm. and he's like, Dear manager, this is me resigning. Sorry for your loss. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be me. I'm actually going to recreate that yeah. the day I quit. I hope you do. The day we quit. Yeah. I god, that I is hard even. That is definitely one thing that I'm like, oh my god, what would that even smell like? Yeah, I want to quit January first. Mm -hmm. I know you do. <laughs> I feel like for me though, like just to be different from that, I mm. I wanna I wanna start making like brand deals. I want our first yeah. brand deal. Something that we're both passionate about. Something that we with or without this would use mm. would be a part of yeah and just see what that aspect's like because when we support something yeah oh yeah we ride we go hard yeah <laughs> we do and i feel like a company needs to benefit okay? yeah literally i'm trying to think what would be a company that would work for both of us That will just get us this the fuck up. Anything really. I know for me, I want to be a part of Fenty. Oh yeah, that would be banging. Because Fenty is the reason why I even own makeup. Yeah, yeah. If I didn't, if Fenty wasn't born, yeah, I'd probably have a fucking super drug foundation. Yeah. You know it to be true. I do. <laughs> you really do. I do. So. I feel like, and I honestly, if anyone asks me, what's your favorite foundation? Would you? Yeah. I always push them in the, in the yeah. fancy direction. So I'm already doing free promo. Literally, you know, it would be. And then I think easy. it would be great for us because you can do the daring side of Fenty. Yeah. Like you did with the PMS lipstick. Mm -hmm. I can do the softer side of Fenty because I don't. I'm just. I'm not. I'm not that way. You know. Yeah. I, I can do it sometimes yeah in my own way but it's different but yeah I think that would probably some if when that happens I'm probably gonna be like yeah well, nobody talks to me for an hour I need to sit in a corner and, and just take it in. take it in yeah because that's gonna be a big one because I, I think that's something and then clothing See, this is where we would be different because I would want Nike and I think you would want Adidas. Adidas yeah. Mm. Yeah. But I mean, I don't mind Nike. No. I don't despise them, but I just gravitate towards, towards yeah. Adidas. No, I always gravitate towards Nike. You see, I don't understand when this happened though. I've said this to you multiple That's times. I don't you know. You just left me. I don't know. I didn't you mean left to. me. I don't know. We didn't discuss this. I don't know what happened, but it's like, you know the Drake song, Check Silver Stripes? <laughs> That's what I like. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. It just happened. Yeah. I think I, I used to have like everything Adidas. And then bit by bit, it's like, I think I have two Adidas shoes. Three, including my tacos. That's mad. And I have like no Adi. I have like an Adidas T-shirt. Mm. But, but then again, I love her Adidas gear. Like I love your like purple jacket. The chicks, girls. Ooh, oh, girls. girls are awesome. Love that. Yeah. And I hate so purple, cute. but I love that. It's pink. Oh, it's pink with purple stripes. Oh, okay. No, <laughs> Sorry. I, mean, I knew there was purple in there. But yeah, like, I know. That, what I mean, yeah. I love that. It is cute. But I know I, if I'm looking for it, that's cute. I wish it was a Nike though. Yeah. But yeah, I think it's fine. Maybe we could, maybe that could be something. You know what would be another place that, oh, 
Oh my Olaplex. Like I can't I don't even think I can really get into this right now. Because the way you know what I feel like whenever I talk about Olaplex? I feel like I'm on QVC. Like they need sure. to give me a slot. Because I do this For free. Yeah. For free on the regular. The fact that you have gotten me and my mother yeah. <laughs> using Olaplex. When I tell you the two of us combined yeah. are like nope. No, no. Yeah, you guys really put up a good fight. We did. You did. You tried. And you wore us down. <laughs> I, I broke down I'm this wall. I'm so proud of you <laughs> because those are two difficult ones. <laughs> and the fact that even today I was out and I was like, oh, I found two Olaplex yeah. products and I bought them. I know. I have even put people on Olaplex. Yeah. And it's like. It's amazing. Who? Who? So yeah, that one would be. Yeah. Sick. Very. Mm. Because. The, hair, the difference in the hair is yeah. insane. It's incredible. So if you haven't used Olaplex, get on it. Yeah. Don't waste your time. It is, yeah. it'll change your life. Like even sure. if you think your hair's okay, it's not gonna hurt. Like invest in hair care because you know, you gotta look after your hair, especially in this freezing cold weather. Yeah, and it works for both because like in yeah. Miami it's hot shit. So true, it works true, true. for the heat, it yes. works for the cold. Yeah. Just, just, just do it. Yes. But anyways, we're going to have to go because we're off out. But happy new year, guys. Again, yes. thank you so much for all the support. We love you very, very much. And we'll see you in the new year. We'll see you next year. Oh my gosh. Oh happy my new year. Happy new year. <laughs> <laughs>